Except my blasted headphones falling off. <laughs> yeah, we're on a good start. <laughs> we're on a good start here. Yeah. So welcome to what my second phase of I should be doing a show today, but I'm doing a show to or second show today and doing another interview with Lakeland Veteran Lakeland Student Veterans of Lakeland America. Student Veteran. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> It's a mouthful. <laughs> no, my brain's just not with it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But yeah, we're, a, we're a student veterans of America chapter known as the Lakeland SVA. That's what we are. And I'm Nelson. I'm the president of said organization. We try to ensure the edu- educational success of veterans and military-affiliated students. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, I like to think it's a noble goal. <laughs> and you're doing a lot better than the person I had. Earlier, that was just a tad bit nervous. Uh, it's just a room with some microphones, so yeah, <laughs> nice. No, no offense, you know, it's a nice setup you guys got here, but you know, ain't uh, no reason to uh, it's sort of ish nice, yeah. And plus, I know we met last semester, yeah. You know, we you were selling candy canes down there, I was selling raffle tickets, you know, which that went really well for us. You know, mm-hmm. we actually beat our projections. You know, I'll buy a lot. We actually had to reorder tickets and sell again. So, yeah, we were doing we're doing pretty well so far. Last semester was a good semester for us, and hopefully we can, you know, follow up this semester with the events that we got going on. You know, mm-hmm. we'll be downstairs at the, or, at the organization fair giving out free popcorn. Uh, we actually have a Twitter contest that's going to start uh, today, mm-hmm. actually. So if you tweet at Lakeland, at, at Lakeland SVA on Twitter... And give us your best advice for managing stress. You can win a re- relaxation CD or a coffee mug. And we'll determine that winner tomorrow evening. I didn't realize you guys had a Twitter. Yeah, yeah, we have a Twitter now. We have a well, Twitter we have now. We Twitter eventually have to connect with that. Yeah, we have a Twitter. We have an Instagram, which... Uh, uh, oh, Instagram, yeah, too? We have, yeah, we have an Instagram. We, have, we actually have one, too. <laughs> <laughs> How come we have a cross pass? We, we have a... You have a Facebook page, private and public, you know, so, you know, we, we, we try to reach out on social media, except for Tumblr and Reddit and things like that. <laughs> Twitter, or uh, Tumblr, you know, yeah. And uh, we also have a, a, a meet and greet February 9th at our Veterans Lounge way down at the deep end at the E building. You know, we're, that's why nobody comes and see us because we're out of sight and out of mind. We're in the back corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys are way off the like main trail. Yeah, we're way off. Yeah, we're way out there. That's why we're trying to bring people over there for our meet and greet. We also have a VA representative. February 9th mm-hmm. will be the meet and greet, and we'll have a representative there for, from the VA to help deal with claims and processing for military students or you know veteran students mm-hmm. wherever who's eligible to receive benefits, and that'll be from 12 to 3. You know, nice. but but yeah, we're we're doing pretty well. I'm proud of what we done. You know, last semester we had a rebranding. You know, reelection. You know, we we we've had we're rebuilding our reputation because it went south. You know, spring at the end of end of spring semester last year, and I think people like us now. You know, like mm-hmm. we reach we reach out, and you know, it's going well. What's your main goal out of this year? Out of this year. Oh, this it'll be the same as last semester where I'm just rebranding, 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 getting my footprints all over the campus. You know, we have a you know magic tournament coming up with the Gamers Guild in March. You know, more details about that will come. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, we we're gonna give away Cedar Point tickets. You know, at, at the end of the semester. So, you know, we're nice. we're, trying, we're, trying, we're we're in serv- we're in service to the students here. You know, we're not in service to ourselves. We're not in service. We're not trying to beg people to do things for us we are here for you you know mm-hmm. so i know eventually because <laughs> each and every year everyone says oh you should stop past down there i'm so guilty of not stopping you know i, I don't blame anybody for not going down there it's, you know the worst thing <laughs> is i'm in t building so i don't have the excuse not to it was see, a t building it feels like Almost you're in high school with all the bulletin boards and there's people around, you know, and stuff. In the e build, in the e building, it's just a bunch of heavy machinery, and you know, you can buy food there. <laughs> you know, but, yeah. but that, that's 
pretty much about oh, it. You know, it's you know the parking lot's always empty in the morning. If you're looking for a place to park in the morning and you don't want to walk. Yes, yo, students <laughs> hanging out in that downstairs like lounge area. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the the buses go and you see the, all these little kids. Well, you know, students. Yeah. That I'm way too old to be talking to. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, so very valid point. Yeah, very, very valid point. Like I'm 28 years old, I can't be talking to somebody who was born in 2000 and 2001, 2002. <laughs> True, but you know, it's whatever. But yeah, it's a nice area. It's a nice spot. You know, free coffee. You know, you want to print mm-hmm. something? We got the stuff. You know, you know, we 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 are in service to you guys. You know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, come down to E117, February 9th. You know, we'll be downstairs giving away free popcorn tomorrow. And, you know, when about Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah, we'll be doing that as well. You know, we'll be making a mess down there <laughs> like we did like we did last semester. <laughs> we always do. So, <laughs> you know, why break tradition? Yeah, why break know? tradition? You know, you know, oh, yeah, we'll be down there giving away free popcorn, staring at Gamers Guild, Gamer Guild's, uh, display that they have always nice and I want to play video games but I gotta hand out popcorn mm-hmm. <laughs> you know so but yeah but yeah that's that's all I got you know how about this what, what is this what inspired you to get in to what is, where you're at right now what inspired me to get into to the SVA chapter um I, I I originally didn't want to have anything to do with it to be honest of uh, I, I avoided it all last year until, well, for one, our, our president was doing things that, you know, questionable things to some of the members, and um, and, our, and our advisor uh, quit. Uh, yeah, our advisor, Barb, mm-hmm. you know, God bless her, uh, she, she quit last year. And, and uh, I took the initiative in correcting some of the wrongs that were happening, you know, in the Veterans Lounge. And, you know, went to the dean, went to the women's center and asked for advice. And since I was the one I took initiative on this, you know, people looked to me to actually try, try, try and, you know, fix it. And when time came to, for me to step up, I stepped up. And I've been doing great. We've been doing, we've been making money. We, we, we've done everything that we wanted to do. We went to a leadership summit back in September. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I believe that this has taught me a lot. You know, I've done a lot for my for my uh, organization, and and we are good at what we do. We we are good at uh, fundraising. We're we're good at having volunteers. We we have a mass amount of volunteers. You know, mm-hmm. v- Veterans Day. We did the Veterans Day assembly. Uh, that was back in November. Uh, we did a September 11th assembly. We had a raffle. We did breast cancer research funding, and you know, from the raffle, we fed a family. For Thanksgiving and an underprivileged family for Thanksgiving and just doing just doing good, nice. you know, keeps me in the group, you know. And we, mm-hmm. as long as there's a need for us, you know, I definitely plan on being involved. I may not be president forever, but you know, mm-hmm. I, I'm going to stay involved in this. And you know, it keeps me busy. It keeps yeah. a challenge. You know, I got you know 15 credit hours a semester. I'm still, you know, leading this group. And you know, it it it, it, it keeps me going. And, a little. Yeah, it keeps me. It keeps my plate full, you know. But you know, it, but it's it's what I'm used to doing. I'm used to being in service of others. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, that's that, that, that's what, that's what got me into this in, into this in the first place was, you know, I was doing things for the group before I was a member, and now, <laughs> and now I'm the leader, and I actually have a say in what we do, you know. But yeah. you do what you plan on, surf ideas, all that mumbo jumbo. What now? Huh? What, what, what was that? So all that mumbo jumbo. Yeah. What ideas, plans, all that. Uh... Well, the the magic the magic tournament is my personal mm-hmm. my, my my personal uh, brainchild. Uh, you know, me and uh, Erica of the Gamers mm-hmm. Guild, uh, we're 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 planning that in earnest, and it it will happen. You know, I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. You know, in, in the history of the school, and you know, I I I don't have necessarily an end game yet, you know, because I don't want this to be over as of as of right now. But mm. you know, as ideas come, as I get better at this, you know, yeah, the vision will come. And you know, my my, my members have have a vision of what this wants to be, of what the, what they think this should be. People want to people want to people want to volunteer. People want to help people. 
and I just I want to provide that for them. Oh, trust me, it's I understand that because it's no instruction manual that says, "Hey, you should do this. This is how these things work out. This is how you deal with the issues. This is how you know everything. You know, it's no manual in what we're doing that covers everything. It's well, no. sort of learn on your fly. Well, no, and lead, leading a group is you know, being a member of a group is one thing, you know, and leading a group, you know, like. Me becoming a member of this group and me leading the group happen at the same time, <laughs> so yeah. so like and and we have almost no continuity from last year. No, none of the same members. Our advisor has changed, you know. So there's and there was no continuity left. So we 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 had to feel this out. We had to look at our constitution and you know and learn from the ground up what it was like to be in this organization and what we can do, what the school allows us to do, what we want to do. You know, and there's plenty of times where I've been told, you know, you need to shut up and <laughs> and quell your expectations because we 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 literally legally cannot do you do this. Like I wanted to have I wanted to have a uh, a fundraiser where we brought a car from a junkyard on campus and we just pay five bucks a you know for you have like two minutes Black to sma- yeah to smash it, you know. <laughs> But I got told, no, 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 so that's... <laughs> yeah, like, I can see where the school's coming from, this liability standpoint. You know, if someone, you know, pulls up or, you know, whatever, something in their back, and, you know. Yeah, that's what insurance forms are for. That, that, that's what I thought. <laughs> I could see that, that being an issue. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, but that's something that I would want to do. That's something that mm-hmm. I would, I would think that's cool. I'll give my, I'll give five bucks to give me two minutes with a sledgehammer in a car. Why not? <laughs> you know, Very but true. you know, but you know, we're we're uh, we're marrying ideas with our capabilities, and mm-hmm. and if we can make something th- happen, we're gonna make it happen. You know, like I said, we're in service to our members and to the school at large and to the community. You know, yeah. you know, whatever you guys need, we'll we'll get it for you. You know, you. you you know, you 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 want the the Black Friday uh, giveaway that we had last last semester? We'll give it to you again. You know, next fall. You know, we might not even wait the next next fall to have have something like that. It can happen in two months. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know we we may have a raffle for Cedar Point tickets. Maybe definitely that's happening. <laughs> Somewhere along yeah. the road, just you know, stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. We 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 got a lot of things planned. So, but yeah, yeah, I definitely agree. There's no manual to this. You know, you're definitely in the dark, you know, with no flashlight, you know, trying to, you know, find out where the desk is, you know, doing this leading organization stuff. And it, some things are the same. Some things change like that in a matter of a second. Yeah, especially dealing with money. It's it's a tricky, tricky thing sometimes, you know. But. Well, that's why if I ever count money in that, <laughs> you know where I do it? Sometimes right here because the camera doesn't lie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're not responsible if you're taking if you're watching yourself. So, yeah, possibly <laughs> if I get video of it, you know, cameras don't lie. No, they don't. And I, I, I count what I need to count. Give it to the cashier's office. Oh, they yeah. count. G- give me my receipt. Give that to people in the office down the hall. And you know, my hands are clean. You know, that's about my same philosophy. <laughs> After a first day, hurry up, count it. Okay, you know, that get it down there. It's like, okay, you know, it's a half hour or 45 minutes before we... Okay, get it. Then it's, a, then it's afterwards. It's like, hurry up, hurry up. For the, get away, get yeah. away, get away, get I'm, away. I'm definitely scared of handling money. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't want to be accused of anything. <laughs> oh, I don't you know, blame you. That's... You just want to get rid of it as fast as you can. Yeah, that's when I go to my advisor, like, hey, yeah, could you do this? Because I don't want to touch this, the screen stuff that's not mine. I don't, I don't want. I don't want this. I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> oh, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. And I've been doing it for four years. And I have the same <laughs> motto. Oh, we get it. Okay, hurry up. Either get it down there or get it there. No, it's like kryptonite. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you you don't want to touch it, but you got. I don't want to see it. <laughs> you the know? less time I see it in my face, the better. You know, foundation money is like a tiger. It's cool to look at, you know, to, you know, plan what to do with it and, you know, observe from afar. But once you get close to it, it's like, oh, man, I don't, I don't want to touch this. <laughs> Probably fine. Yeah. yeah. You know, but, uh, but yeah. You know, with the Magic Tournament, we're, we're trying not to handle money at all. Like, our, like, our entry price is going to be, like, 
you know, toiletries and stuff like that. You know, we're actually doing this for the female do- domiciliary in the Wade Park. You know, okay. they, they take in homeless female veterans, and we're asking for donations for entry. If you want to give us cash, we'll take it, you know, but <laughs> we don't want to. <laughs> At least yeah. I, I don't want to, <laughs> you know, but, you know, we're, we're, we're not looking to make money off of this. We're, we're doing this because we're nice people. I got you. And the gamers go as well. They're nice people, you know. It's true. <laughs> so. That's definitely. Yeah. Anything else you want to talk about? Because, yeah, I got time for days. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what else do we got? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I got beat Fallout 4. The game is not as good as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I don't know. The last, the <laughs> highest, um, what the, uh, the highest system I have for games in that is a PS2. It's a good system to have. A lot of games came out for that system. A lot of good games came out for that system. And you can't buy any of these <laughs> games anymore. You can be, you can get them on eBay for like $2 or, you know. Like oh, what is it? Uh, Desert Storm or whatever, that one game that came out. Was that a helicopter game or? The one that's like based off of Iraq. And oh, okay, all that. yeah. That I got one. You. I did the first one, then they came out with the second one, and they never got it. I want to get that, because it's like, you know, first one, it's not horrible, but then it's like, yeah, I want to sort of see, but then I don't want to pay more than $10 for one reason. Yeah. Because if it's junk, I don't want to, you know. I remember, I, I had it, my, my dad bought a PS2, because he wanted a, he wanted a DVD player. <laughs> <laughs> That was like a lot of people's sure. first DVD player back in back in like, you know, they, yeah, exactly. Like when DVDs first came out, everybody wanted a PS2. It could play video games and and, and uh, play DVDs, and that was why my yeah. dad bought it. He wanted to play Madden and watch DVDs. You know, I, I had a GameCube in my room. I always got the system nobody wanted. I, I had a Sega Saturn <laughs> when I yeah. was a kid. I had the the Dreamcast. <laughs> You know, I didn't know 64. Everybody else had a PlayStation, PlayStation 2. Like, I couldn't even touch the PlayStation. My sister had the original PlayStation. I got this 2, but then you had that big one, the thick monster one. Yeah. Then that burnt out or something happened. Then I got the black slim one. Well, so I think the same exact thing, the reader or something got messed up. Then luckily, before they started, because they were sort of, you know, fading out, I ended up finding that the skinny oh the slim one two, the silver oh yeah yeah and i, I had that since yeah because i remember uh going to a friend's house and he had one and it it kept on opening and closing and then opening and closing it wouldn't read the disc <laughs> you yeah, know that's what happened to my because <laughs> you know the skinny black one and the silver one you know you hit the thing it pops it open yeah the original one the big block one that was i mean that was nice but yeah yeah, I didn't have a PS2. I had the GameCube and I had the Dreamcast. Nobody had the Dreamcast. Nobody had nobody. I was the only one. I, I'm the only person I knew that's had a Dreamcast. And I, I don't know about PS2, but for you know the GameCube, the 64, and the Sega Dreamcast and the Sega Saturn, the memory cards were a pain. Like if you you had to buy like an actual Nintendo memory card, you had to buy an actual Sega memory card, or else the thing can just like all of a sudden get corrupted and your save game files were just gone. And that used to make me so angry. Especially oh, that's with... what happened here. <laughs> I had that happen. The funny thing, it's one of my, what was it? I think the one that was given to me. Because my mother was working with whoever. They broke up with whoever. One of the girls. And he left a memory card for a PS2 and gave it to me. It was like one little file I couldn't delete. Some corruption mumbo junk. But the card works fine though. Yeah, I, I hated like wait waiting at in high school all day, you know. Oh man, I can't wait to play this game. I can't wait to play this game. Go home and play it. Save game corrupted. You know, you I, I not, nothing takes you out of the mood more than that. That 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 was Oh yeah. That was bad. <laughs> then the random power outages. Oh, oh. That. <laughs> I had that happen. I remember uh because I remember on in Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo, like they had, like mm-hmm. you, I remember writing down uh, writing down the pass like the what was the password where you actually had to like you know, like you got to a certain level and it gave you like this series of letters and numbers they had to enter in to start from that certain point of the game. 
And it, those always made me because when you put in a password, it didn't save your lives. Like you, like you start out with three lives. I'm like, no, I had like ten lives when I left this game. <laughs> you know, and I remember writing down a password, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden the power goes out in the middle of writing it. You know, and I played yeah. this game for like three hours. It was Streets of Rage. It was Streets of Rage two, and I'm writing it down, writing it down. We had a notebook that we kept by the Genesis with a bunch of fast passwords in it, and I'm in the middle of writing it down, just power goes out. I had, I, I never played that game ever again. <laughs> yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. So, but I'm glad the games are the, are the way they are now. You know, everybody loves Fallout Four, but I don't think that game is necessarily great. You know, you know, I I miss Metal Gear Solid. You know, it's it's a shame there'll never ever be another game of that caliber coming out. You know, but I still play video games. You know, it's kind of like my thing. I'm going for Shadow of Mordor now. Actually, I love that game. I was up to like four nice. o'clock playing it the other night. I would have been up playing it last night, but I was watching Royal Rumble <laughs> last night, watching Triple H win last night. So <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is yeah, not a repeat of, you know, 1990-something. Triple H <laughs> won the Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> He's been doing a Royal Rumble since Stone Cold Steve Austin won two years in a row. So <laughs> I never really watched that, ever. I, I just started watching it, like, again, like, like last year I started watching it again because, you know, wrestling went through its dark phase, phase you know. You know, John Cena is mm-hmm. going to win every match, and he hasn't been been doing things he's on i think he's on a break i think he's doing like a movie or something him and his uh i want to say wife but i don't think they're married you know that uh, person yeah that person we'll that, go with the person that person that he's with they they, they took a break you know mm-hmm. deservedly so because we don't i don't want to see john cena win you know every pay-per-view like i, I, I don't want to see that you know but you know it's getting, everyone it's getting... needs to get away you know <laughs> they can't just non-stop do that you know well, Twelve re- months out of the year, each and every year. Oh, well, wrestling's funny, and when you, when you're like that kind of caliber, like the John Cena, you're not doing like the five nights a week, you know, tours. You know, mm-hmm. like those are, those are mostly like the lower people. Like, you know, and SmackDown doesn't really get the 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 uh, the attendance that Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, NXT, some of MXT's pr- premier stuff is getting. But one funny thing, I forgot what the character was in wrestling, but they had like it was him and his manager, like. Like let's get it. Let's lay some wrestling is characters. They're not actual athletes. They're characters. They're performers. You know, everybody knows it's fake. And they had a you know a, a character that was like Obama's not my president. And they had to stop this character because they were getting too much of an applause in southern states. <laughs> they, they just stopped it right then and there. I forgot his name though. Oh man, I I forget. He was in Royal Rumble yesterday too. <laughs> But they had to stop that whole character arc <laughs> because they didn't want to be associated with, 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 racism, with racism, you know. You know, it's bad when Vince McMahon says, stop, we, we, this is getting ridiculous. We we can't be associated with Pol- politics. <laughs> politics is just stupid. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's crazy, especially election years. Everybody gets everybody gets wound up tight over one side or the other, and, you know, it, it's... Not a, not something that you want to be involved in if your brand is not associated with those type of things. I ended up watching the whole state union thing and, you know, the Democrat, well, whatever, that, you know, both sides going at it, that this old guy, Democrat, whatever, saying whatever about whoever that's on his party. And it's like, I don't care. You guys <laughs> just work together and shut up. Yeah, you know. I'm at that point. It's like I don't care. You guys go argue, whatever. Go close yourselves behind doors. Throw chairs at one another. Just work together for God's sakes. Let's try that just once and see where that goes. No, that's not gonna happen until people until more people start voting. And I, I, I've said this before. It's like if you vote once every four years, you are not doing your your civic duty. You no. know, you, you like. You know, if you think your president's going to represent you, you're wrong. You you are definitely wrong. You need a you need a you should be voting at the minimum once every two years. You know, at the maximum multiple times a year because there's multiple p- elections held every year. You know, yeah. It's... You know, you should know the name of your state representative. You should know the name of your municipal judge. You know, like 
Uh, but that's just how I feel. Like I it, give each and every person I vote in one. After that, if they're, you know, the, the, or just don't do anything. Yeah, you're out. It's against the next person. You're out. It doesn't matter what party. You get one. No, no, it's like any other job. You don't do your job, guess what? You get fired, you know? <laughs> That's like you're not in the philosophy anymore. You have parties, whoever in it, you might sort of sound whatever that respectful. Okay, you're in. You just don't do anything whatever in that. You can be gone next time. Whoever is running against you will get my vote then. Yeah, I think we put unreasonable expectations on famous people in general. Like, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I shouldn't be pulling those kind of examples out, but like, like I don't care what somebody does in their personal life. I don't care if they, you know, yeah, you know, had had like you know a drug problem or whatever. If they're good at their job, they're good at their job. You know, you know, if you're a recovering no alcoholic, perfect. you know, like yeah, nobody is perfect. I don't, I don't know why we expect people to be perfect. You know, like I. Like, I, I just don't care about, you know, the aesthetics and, you know, well, you have to be religious if you want to get far in politics or whatever, you know, like, like I, I never really got that, you know, because yeah. you, 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 whether you're religious or not, or you, you can still have thoughts and perspectives and feelings and morals, mm -hmm. you know, like you can still, you, you can still, you know, make the right decision, at least in my opinion. Like Obama and that. Everyone's blaming him. You can't blame the guy. Well, no, because you voted for a senator, too. You voted for a House representative, too, and when you stepped into that booth. You know, did you do your research? You know, like, you know. And then, <laughs> no, I'm not going to even say that. But the thing is, everyone's so hard. You can't blame the guy. He had, he sort of picked up a mess. Did he do everything perfect pro throughout? You know, he gave it a temp. And some of the things they aren't, but at least he attempted. He tried to fix things. He sort of fixed things, and you know I'll give him props for that. But the thing is, you vote for two of the largest. Like, mm -hmm. well, you don't even vote for president. It's electoral college. That's a whole nother argument right yeah. then and there. You know, that's the the downfall of being a republic. But um, you know, you, you theoretically you vote for you know the president and the House representatives in the Senate. Yeah. You know, you vote for those two pe those two things. Like, if you want something done, you should be consistent in your voting habits and vote. You know, if the president wants something done, you vote for the representatives that's going to help get it done. If you don't, he's not going to get it done. Yeah. You know, it, you know, and if it's illegal, the Supreme Court's going to come in and say, "Hey, by the way, you can't do that." It's it's true. Totally unconstitutional. <laughs> and you know, I look at Bush and that it's like he started did maybe a few things good, but then he did some really messed up or, you know, you sit there and scratch your head moments. Well, every president has good and bad things, you know. There, so, there's a few things that Bush did that I like. Like, he commuted a bunch of, you know, drug offenses at the end of his, at the end of his term. You know, at somewhere like two dozen people, you know. There's, there's actually a person I know that actually got a sentence commuted because of George W. Bush, and it was Carly Simon. Yeah, Carly Simon actually helped, uh, helped get that sentence commuted, started a campaign, and you know, what was going off the case, but yeah, you know, and Obama does the same thing. He commutes a bunch of, you know, low level drug offenses that got way too much time, you know, and I like that, you know, mm -hmm. is, is there things Obama does that he doesn't like, that I don't like? Yeah, of course, you know, there were things that Clinton did that I didn't like, you know, including the, the telecommunications bill that passed, you know, that allowed Radio 1 and Clear Channel to buy every radio station in America, you know. <laughs> There's no more regional radio anymore because of Bill Clinton. Because <laughs> No, here's the funny thing. Speaking of radio, after the whole, you know, Gina Jackson thing that it Oh, cool, yeah. How about this? So the FCC went in a panic mode and tried to do whatever certain things and that. They cracked more harder after that on radio than video. How does that make sense? The Super Bowl wasn't on radio that billions of people watched. Yeah, but people were like, oh, well, what about Howard Stern? Or what about Don Imus? What about Opie and Anthony? You know, like, pe people mm -hmm. were like, Jan Jackson's doing this and this because you allowed Howard Stern to get away with so many things. You allowed Opie and Anthony to get away with so many things. And, you know, and those guys have large, large satellite markets now. 
You know, people mm -hmm. actually get satellite radio to hear Howard Stern. People get satellite radio to hear Opie and Anthony. You know, so and and you know what that is. No, in the Super Bowl, no, nobody yeah. expected that. You know, like and even even with video, it's, like you know, a freak thing to happen. But you know, even with video, like FX is now becoming more raunchy. You know, like like you couldn't get away with Archer back in the nineties. You know, like. You know, FX is becoming more AMC is becoming more raunchy. Show in especially with the uh, with the Walking Dead. That show was well, uh, you couldn't get away with that show in the old days. No, but now no, people no. do. You know, but that's the culture of America now. We we like dark, desolate things. And yep. and, and you know, a little bit on the violent side. Never hurt anybody, right? You know, well, <laughs> <laughs> figuratively speaking. You know, and. Yeah, that's one thing I never really got was the whole censoring. You know, I never really got that at all because I believe people know the difference, especially children. I think children more than anybody know what's real and what's fake. You know, yeah, I don't see children wanting to, you know, not, you know, show such and such on TV or, you know, mm -hmm. even with the whole PMRC thing with Prince in the 80s or when Frank Zappa went up to Congress and defended rock music. You know, these are parent. these are adults doing these things kids know what's real and what's not real you know and i think people don't give our children credit you know they know they know how to behave if you raise them to behave and how to take in media you know i i didn't see a spike in teen pregnancies when britney spears came out <laughs> you know i just couldn't stand her music <laughs> much auto or yeah, auto tune on her voice and then a little bit later she sounded so nasally i just couldn't stand it yeah, when I, she first came out, she wasn't that bad, but it just went downhill. Well, Britney Spears can't sing. Let's 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 put that out there, right there. there. Like, like Christina Aguilera, she can sing. You know, Shakira can sing. Adele can sing. Britney Spears cannot sing. Janet she was Jackson sort cannot of not sing. Not horrible her first year, but then it just went downhill. Auto tune away, nasally sounding voice, and then and it just drives me bonkers. Yeah. Wow, I said bonkers. Yeah, you bonkers. don't ever hear that word. <laughs> yeah, you might. What are you going to say next? Groovy? Out of sight? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, but. But yeah, like, people people know how to take in media. People know how to watch a movie. People, like, you didn't see people starting up a crime empire after watching Scarface. <laughs> That's you know, true. You know. Or The Godfather. Oh, yeah, you didn't see them starting up mafias after The Godfather. You know. Because most of them were already here. You know, no, no, nobody. <laughs> And nobody, nobody was becoming a hitman after watching The Professional or playing the game Hitman. <laughs> you know, like, the, people know the difference. You True. know, nobody's buying an M16 and mowing down people after, after playing Call of Duty. You know, like, uh. you know, people know, people, people know that there's three, what's real, what's not real. And, yeah, certain people got it mixed up. Some people should not be playing these things. But, you know, you, know, you take the good with the bad, you know, at least from my... My personal standpoint is that evil exists as an entity. It always will, always have, and bad things are going to happen. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't defeat it. Mm. You know, just try to be the best person you can. Really, that's that's the rule number that's one. True. Be kind of people and be the best person that you can. True. It's a sort of golden rule rule that's been lost. Yeah, and and you know, past time. And take care of yourself, you know? You know, take care of yourself. You get stressed out, manage your stress. And speaking of managing stress, Twitter contests <laughs> at Lakeland SVA. Give us a tip on how to manage stress. You may win a relaxation CD or a coffee mug. <laughs> and you know the funny thing is? Yes, sir. They have, they have two things. They can go look at the previous one. Was that 11 o'clock today that I did? The Lakeland Library? It's two ideas in that video. Two ideas? Yeah. Mm. So they can actually go back, I think, what is about, like, three videos? And they can go watch that, like, 30-minute or under segment. It's two ideas for that. <laughs> well, I don't know. This, this seems kind of easy to do, so. And plus, I like it. You're a good, good, you're a good dude, so. <laughs> yeah, I think I would throw it out there that... <laughs> No, it sort of promotes the libraries thing that they do at the end of the semester. 
that I didn't know about. So it's sort of fitting. You may well even like that. I think the. I mean, then they have like a like, like a relaxation thing like at yeah, the coloring. end of last, at the end of last semester for like uh, finals yeah. week. Coloring. Oh yeah, the coloring thing. Yeah. You know. I didn't know that. Yeah, and plus they have like a nice a nice charging station there by the by the computers. You know. I like the library. It's a nice, quiet place. You know, it's actually one idea that Cab does at the end of spring semester. But I'm going to not say that to give anyone hints to use. Oh yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. I think we're actually thinking about joining Cab in their endeavors. You know, which I would love to. You know, yeah, what they do during spring fling. I'm not going to say why, but it's another thing that would be really good. It's what one, one, two. It's what four, no seven words long. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, Except if you had an S on it, that would be eight. And who who was serving hot dogs last semester during finals week? Well, that's a school. Oh, that's a school. Pizza and oh hot yeah, dogs, yeah, yeah, pizza and hot dogs. Oh, okay. And that's a school itself. I didn't make that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't make that. Most of my finals were done before finals week, so I literally had nothing to do with finals. I was basically work study all the way out. In E building, nobody said hi to me or nothing. I was just out there by myself doing spreadsheets and Microsoft Publisher flyers and stuff like that. Huh. I would have went down there if I knew. Yeah, but you know, like sitting at a desk doing doing uh, work study stuff for the betterment of my group. You know. <laughs> yeah, that too. Say so one in the class at one, an hour prep and that before our presentations. And was it two to five o'clock? We were sitting there nonstop. We had like six groups in that class. And the final was the group presentation. Oh, really? So two to five o'clock, nonstop presentations. Were even interesting, or was it all boring, or sort of? It was one guy or one presentation. Was it horrible? But the one guy was like, you can just tell he didn't know what he was talking about. I'm assuming you you, you 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 put some time into this. <laughs> like, yeah, it's one guy. It's like he's talking about um, Windows and then Microsoft, and you can just tell he didn't get really the information. He didn't really care. He sort of, you know, he's you know just shooting the wind with it. You can just tell that. Uh, as I got older, I learned to be conservative with my speech and only talk about things you really need to talk about, you know, or or that you know about. Because we can't teach anybody. Why, why, why are you even speaking? But yeah, you didn't know, you know, they had a Windows phone. I, even I had, I had a Windows phone. I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> I had a Windows phone for like three years. Oh, I got rid of my <laughs> break. Yeah, I, got, I have a nice Android Nexus 5X now. You know, I love this phone, but I had a Windows phone for a long while. And I loved that phone. And now oh, I hated it. Uh, I, I liked it. There's nothing terrible about it. It was yeah. cheap. It was something I could buy, you know, on one paycheck. Free. <laughs> got for free the activation. Only bad thing, the huge draw off was all different certain apps they don't have. Oh yeah, you're not getting Snapchat, you know. Yeah, Snapchat. <laughs> I you know, using the third party apps. You know, I got my account blocked. The first one blocked, then they created another one, and that got, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, because I think it was called Six Snap, the yeah. Snapchat one. Then they had and another it, one. Yeah, and that got banned, and I got a message from Snapchat, like, hey, if you're using third-party apps, yes, we're going to, like, block your account. Yeah. Well, then develop a, a Windows phone app. <laughs> the hilarious thing is? And I actually did do that. I said, maybe if you guys weren't so lazy, maybe you should actually invest time in making an app for it. But as soon as I got my new one, Android, it said an apology saying, uh, we're sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> so he apologized for it. Yeah, because I had six, and I had six tag, which, which was like the, the Instagram one. And they had six Vine, which is the one you can record Vines with on the, on the microphone. The and the Instagram si one, I just couldn't stand because you had to take a picture to be able, then you had to go look through your pictures and then post it. Yeah. That was... But then Instagram actually came out with a Windows Phone app. Like, really? Yeah, like, it was, I think it was like summer of last year, they actually... I had the Betty out. version of... <laughs> The 
the only one I could find. It was Instagram. It was like a Betty version. It, it, yeah, yes. it, was a, it was a beta version. Yeah, and yeah. it worked great. Like I, I used it. Actually, it worked better on my Windows phone than it did those for my Android phone. I, I couldn't take a. I had to take a picture with my normal camera, then upload it to the gallery, going in and searching all my pictures and uploading pictures that way. Yeah, you know, but you had the the thing about the beta version. You had to manually update it. You, it didn't update yeah. by itself. So if it got if they found a problem, you know, you, you I remember getting like a text Maybe saying, that was one reason. "Yeah, I remember getting a text saying, hey, by the way, we updated, you know, Instagram beta. You might want to go and download that because we don't have automatic updates on Windows Phone." I'm like, oh, well, thanks, Instagram. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Facebook app was horrible on Windows Phone. Just got awful, yeah. horrible. You know, the Facebook app is horrible on every that. phone. <laughs> you know, but... But, yeah. That's... But I like the music app, so I like the fact that I did not have to have a, a podcast mm-hmm. app on my Windows phone. It just did it natively. and natively, mm-hmm. like, updated everything, like, every every week. You know, I didn't have to have a separate music and podcasting app. I like that. Well, you after know. so long, when you left that thing on, randomly you start seeing numbers, and it's like, well, I know that person. You had to turn it off, because it didn't after a while just showed numbers instead of people's names you had in your contact that you had to turn it out and turn it back on then it was fine oh yeah that's one thing if you left those windows phones too long they start they just start messing up i remember i woke up one day and i didn't charge it because that thing had a credible battery like mm-hmm. i can go all two days on a single charge and i pick it up my phone's just hot it's just screaming screaming hot and i turned it off for like a day and <laughs> didn't use it at all because i was like there's no way i could hold this up to my face this thing is Really, really warm. That was what? Sometime after seventeenth of December. I think it was like it was like the weekend at, or that weekend in that my phone it, you know, someone tried to call, I went to go try to pick it up, it wouldn't pick up. I had to turn it off, turn it on to pick up a phone call or make a call. Sometimes you went to call someone, it says it's calling but it's nothing. Wow. Yeah, that's, that was the death of the Windows phone for me. It was actually Black Friday weekend I actually bought this phone. I got the Cyber Monday deal. Like It, it was like the week after Black Friday. I still got a Cyber Monday deal on a Wednesday. <laughs> you know, And I didn't know I got the deal. It was like mm. it was like free 50 for a 32 gigabyte phone through Google's phone service. And I was like, okay, sure, why not? I'll give it a try. Well, that's like mine. And at 16, then you can you know throw a 16 whatever. Because it's like, what is it, um... Galaxy 6 or that. Oh, you Galaxy know, S6 or, yeah. Yeah, the 32 gig internal, you can't, you know, use a card in it. It's like, you well, know. Well, I find Samsung's always had the, the slot, you know, on their, on their phone. Well, now not with the 6. Oh, the wow. 6 doesn't. So it's like, I'd rather go with the 5. In case it's that one time, you know, an accident, I want to print something off and I'm at Walmart in it. So I don't have to worry about a cord in it that I can pull out the card. So it's like, I'm going to go with the old, even though, you know, you have that one and yeah, it's a lot more money. It's like, I'm just going to stay with the one under it. You know, I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money. Then it's like, it's nice having the card to be able to. Yeah. I actually miss having a card. I miss being actually to take out my battery. You know, I, I, I do miss <clears> that. You know, uh, but other than that, you know, 32 gigs, I really don't need much more. Like, I'm able to sync all my Spotify and Google Music mm-hmm. playlist, you know. You know uh, I it's, think I have about 32 in mine. But, 16 card than the 16 inside. But, yeah, I, I, like, I, I've, I've, I love the Android. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm never I'll going never back. Go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah. never, if I go into... Because normally my phones, they last about two, two years, two years, three months or something. Then they start going like haywire for something. Then it's like, if they come up in two years and that was some other whatever, it's like. Well, I think the Galaxy S is every year, like every year they come out with a new. Well, like a new operating system, <laughs> you know. Google, whatever. Oh, yeah, I have, I have Marshmallow on mine, which is. You the know, they, worst name for anything, Marshmallow. <laughs> yeah, Google comes up with some kind of operating system for a phone. I'm not going to switch. Especially if it's, you know, that year I need one. And it's like they come out with it. It's like, 
No, I'm going to let it go for a year or two years before I go to a different operating system. Forget that. Never again. I've been. I've had Android devices ever since. I want to say. Oh man, I want to say KitKat. You know, wow, that that sounds so weird. But yeah, ever since uh, KitKat, and I love Marshmallow. I love Marshmallow a lot. You know, a lot of a lot of good games on that on that phone. You know, I play yeah. chess. <laughs> yeah, I play I play chess with people. Play Wars of Friends with people. You know, it's it's nice. Couldn't do that on a Windows phone though. No. Nope. No. no, Windows Phone. No, you're you're not, you're not having fun. You're you're making phone calls and texting. That's all, that's all you're doing. You know, Pretty much. maybe listening to some music every once in a while when you don't want your phone to overheat. <laughs> you and know, that's, when it came to it's like no, because I went from Android to Windows now back to Android. But I did, I did, so I do miss, uh, I do miss hearing somebody else with a Windows Phone. You know, hearing that little te- that little weird text notification, like yeah. Yeah, I know what you thought. Yeah, I know what you got. Yeah, I'm yeah, man, we're in this together. <laughs> it's so weird now because you're so used to that for about like two years. Yeah, you check your phone and like, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I, that's I, right. I, I have an adult's sound. phone now. <laughs> or it's like, oh yeah, I actually have a phone that actually works. <laughs> it actually does things. You know, but and plus, you know, people do like Netflix and stuff on their phones. I still have DVDs in my house. I still have Blu-rays. Mm-hmm. So, you know. You know, it's nice to see you guys got all these CDs in here. It looks like actually my like my storage unit. Like, I know. oh, it's over five hundred and something. Yeah, it's it's nice. That guy we lost count at four hundred and nineties. Actually, I think last year, two thousand fifteen, was the first time that that uh, what was it? That physical physical sales actually. Ever since they had digital sales and digital sales were going up and up and up and up. Actually, like vinyl sales actually outdid. No, no, physical sales actually outdid uh, digital sales last year. So, mm-hmm. you know, and vinyl, yeah, yeah, and vinyl sales are going up. Like, vinyl, vinyl had its best year last year since 1991. Nice. You know, and, I, and I've, I buy records. That's, like, my thing. I like having a big, huge, you know, display, you know. It, it, it's just my thing. And, you know, I don't buy books, but I, I'll buy a record. None. You know, I do buy books. I buy them digitally now, but I, I will not buy... I, I, I will buy records all day. <laughs> it's probably about, I want to say, good, o- almost six or over 600 CDs on that wall. But yeah, oh and man. And it's not coming those two black things <laughs> that hold the whole mess up. <laughs> yeah, those, you know, little zip pouch things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that. Oh, I forgot yeah. these two in the studios. Oh, Thank nice. Yours. Never yeah, having those uh, zip pouch things in my car. Like, okay, what do I want to listen to? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. probably at least 600 or something in here. Wow. Still. I remember the CDs in my car always used, always, always used to get scratched up. Remember in high school, you had to hide your CD player in your hoodie? or <laughs> mm-hmm. that, that was that Oh, was we a went trick. through the normal artists, like your, you know, ACDC and all that. Went through one spring break because it used to be like here, here, it wasn't one thing there. So we moved it all like that. Took them all out, put them out back, put the CD racks up there. We went through and did A to Z up to the third letter, making sure everything's, you know, by alphabet letter. Wow. It took close to six hours. How many ACDC CDs do you have? I imagine. It's a few. <laughs> Smashing Pumpkins, though. it's a good chunk. I never got into Smashing Pumpkins. Never, never, never got yeah, into. They have two good songs. The rest of the song. <laughs> sounds so whiny, you know. <laughs> you know, I don't disagree. <laughs> and I was yeah. always like, when I was a kid, I liked, I loved Aerosmith and, you know, Coolio and Hello Cool J and. Nirvana was huge when I was a kid. People, it's a few, I think, two CDs in there. You know, Nirvana was huge. Beastie Boys was huge when yeah. like, twenty years ago. Man, you couldn't. You turn on MTV, you couldn't. You could not watch MTV for thirty minutes and not see a Beastie Boys video at one point in time. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a few Nirvana. It's a decent chunk. It's like four or something CDs of Smashing Pumpkins in there. You know, and REM. Oh, REM? Oh, yeah. REM. Remember REM and, uh, and Live. Live were, was, was a, the, like, 
anti REM. <laughs> oh, that's a two pack disc, but it's some that's in that wall. Yeah, it it took a horribly long time going through that. And as far as you guys don't have cassette tapes. <laughs> oh yeah, all those. Oh, are oh man, I would have kept them, man. I for my birthday every year I wanted like blank cassettes. Here when I was here. Oh wow. We only had one. Only one. Left. Uh, my first cassette tape was totally cross no no the the single for jump by Chris cross mm-hmm. when I was a kid and we used to have like for my birthday I always get like blank cassette tapes and you know have a little boom box and I'll be doing dishes while with my little boom box and I'll be outside playing basketball with my little boom box you know watching TV little boom box you know mm-hmm. playing video games have my little boom box you know with the tape in it that I made earlier that day and <laughs> You, know, you used to call it a radio station and make a request and just have your button on the pause button, have your hand on the pause button <laughs> until it came through. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Those are those are the days. And ra- 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 radio has changed a lot since we were kids. You know, now, mm-hmm. you know, like when you went to, like, say, like I grew up in Florida. When you went to New York, the radio played stuff that was told, like totally different. Now, what you hear in New York, you hear in California too. You hear in Alaska. You hear in Florida. You hear in Tennessee. You know, every, everything's been, you know, everything's kind of like the same now. You don't really have the regional radios, and if you do, it's the small markets that, you know, may ping. You know, that may PPM like a thousand users. You know, it's a shame. <laughs> no offense, by the way. <laughs> it's fine. I try not to be like that. But there always be a need for like people driving to work. You know they're gonna want to listen to, whatever. You know. You know people it's coming true. home from work. You know like people or just even while working. You know you're gonna want something that's not gonna drive you crazy. You know. That's a true fact. But yeah, man. What else you want to talk about? I don't, know. I don't have class. <laughs> no. I'm just hanging out. Cause it's. Well, I got to prep for tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that's I, right. Not only because I have the one counseling appointment at 9 o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> so. Because you guys are on here Thursday, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I'll be back here Thursday with... uh, with, Oh, no. I could, no, I believe we have two. Two spots yeah. on Thursday, right? You know, they, yeah, Dave's going to do noon, I believe, and I'm coming back around this time. So, yeah. We can carry on then. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, you want to call it a day? Yeah. All right, man. But thank you for coming. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me.